A mermaid's here. How do you make a mermaid cry? Oh, show the movie. Generic control in the deck is me back with another Pirates of the Caribbean established. But today we're doing the fourth movie, which is on Stranger Tides. I have never seen this movie. I only ever saw the first three. I didn't even know that a fourth or fifth one was made, but apparently a lot of people do not like the fourth and fifth one. Uh, last week's video, which was the third one, which was, was it at, at World's End? I think it might have been that one. I'll leave my reaction to it right up there. Also, link down in the description. Also, going to place my channel below. All my nostalgic videos going in chronological order. It was a really good video. Actually, he kind of was a little bit overly negative on a video that based on the comment section you all a lot of you really like that movie and I personally didn't have really any problems with it uh, other than you know sometimes it kind of like overshared some stuff or like it was almost too long for a movie for it just to kind of repeat itself over and over again. but a lot of people really enjoyed that movie I don't think anybody enjoys the fourth or the fifth movie and I don't know anything about them I didn't know they were even made so this is gonna be an interesting video nonetheless shout out to patrons thank you to videos daily love it's not have a paywall channel could not do this if it wasn't for them I also read every single comment like I just mentioned uh, I'm gonna read every single comment on this video as well which typically my nostalgia critic uh, viewers are more chatty than I think any other video I upload I actually think that view to comment ratio and nostalgic videos have the highest ratio of that which is just a mental thing that I do because I read every single comment I do like 19 videos a week but this should be an interesting video it's actually kind of a short video but let's go ahead and jump on into it all right. This episode brought to you by Bespoke, Bespoke Post. Post. Get your box of awesome today. <laughs> also brought to you by Kudos. Or, I haven't heard of them. You shop by doubling your rewards with Kudos today. Okay. Guess what? Haven't I'm heard coming of to them. Dublin. Actually, see uh, at March 20th I I rated his stream. Get right after that. You can uh, see his me Batman in stream at C2 on Friday, March 31st. Which I stream. I was streaming Dragon Ball Fighters. But yeah. Also, uh, got an email by the Angry Video Game Nerd. Yeah, uh, that was crazy. Uh, so you might get some more angry video game nerd videos. He was really, really cool, actually, um, in everything he did. Also, shout out to Pierre for well, that. It still made less money than its predecessor, Dead Man's Chest. It did still make money, though. So, four years it made later, money. despite four the film years? being called a trilogy, meaning stopping at three, Stop Disney does at three. what it does best. Take something that made money and squeeze never even more money out of it. Oh, never seen any of those. And brother does it exist <laughs> does it exist mm. so four years later what year was this give it world's end credit it may be the worst i mean the, the villain's movies, dead i do remember it I was wait kind what of astonished how little an impact on stranger types left on me the funny thing is this is I've the never first seen it. film to get rid of characters that many consider dead weight like will and elizabeth yet somehow wait, they got rid even heavier will's the main the character in this yeah, I really thought just focusing on Jack Sparrow finding treasure would make this more fun, but no. not only do they still add incredibly complicated story threads, but almost nothing about the film stands out. Also, I guess is it is shorter than the last face? one, clocking in oh, so at 2 a hours and 15 minutes. Yeah, oh, that's shorter. like a Pixar short compared to at World's that End. That is what's-his-face. What difference does it make if you forget you even watch the movie? I'm trying well, to remember. We're going to take a closer look and see where it all capsized. This is... What is... I already forgot. On Stranger Tides. Thank Stranger you. Tides. Is that the dude that's uh, he was like Boy, they laid on the, the preacher in the last one. Look Game of Thrones. Pearl. I think. Screw that! Look at the mermaids. Yeah, there's mermaids he now. He found the ship originally searching for the Fountain of Youth and brought back Dad's Grail diary on it. Both oh. filial. The Fountain of Youth. That guy's a liar. Now, if you want the real Fountain of Youth, what I know you? a guy who's been there. Wait, who is that supposed to be? Apparently what, London. Was captured and about to be executed. How many times have you been captured and about to be executed? Oh, the hanging. The hanging. The trial. hanging comes this afternoon. Ah, oh, trial by Twitter. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they never give a trial. No, they don't. It's... Jack, once again, yeah, no. It's a great intro as we think yeah, no. he's the one that's on yeah, trial. Yeah, that's true. In fact, it's Gibbs. Sparrow oh, it's Gibbs. not my name. My name is Joshua Me Gibbs. Is that so? It says Jack Sparrow here. Wait, that's oh, Jack Santa Sparrow. Santa got drunk and dressed like Will Ferrell from Zoolander. That was a fun Thanksgiving. There's a Dracula movie where Nicolas Cage is... the hook and says he needs him to find the fountain Dracula. with the map he has. I saw the trailer for it yesterday. I saw the screen movie. Otherwise engaged. But I always listened like a thief for news of the Black Pearl. Also, Jack, nobody's buying your unnatural blonde. You look like Wolverine Papa Smurf. Touché. Okay. He's supposed to be a he's blonde. captured again, though. Yeah, he's April O'Neil. I'm convinced he's captured more than he roams free in these movies. And he's Probably. talked to by that guy. The 90s always called. Oh, hey. That guy. He plays... George Augustus, Duke of Brunswick, Lundberg, Arch-Treasurer and Prince-Elector of the Holy Roman Empire, Cares. King of Great Britain and Ireland. That. 
who's interested in finding the fountain as well. But it looks like oh, she was another funnel. familiar face. Afternoon. Oh, God. Hey, who left their Jeffrey Rush in the milk too long? By the way, am I the only one who thinks these British voices are so silly it's gonna light. break out into a Monty Python sketch soon? Be rewarded with the high station you so desire. Why is he talking I'm like that? Science. I understand everything. No, no. Do you? Him some spam. Oh, really? It's we're we're, we're, we're using out. guns as melee weapons. Give the film a point for swinging on the chandelier. I'm a sucker for that. And escapes oh. into this strange cameo. <gasps> Who's that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be like the queen? Is that it? Asked everyone wondering, was that Judy Dench? Who? Speaking of which, hi, I'm here to be wasted twice. In more ways than one. I heard you uh, had it. The fountain. Keith oh, Richards father. returns as yeah. Jack's dad, and he tells him he'll need two chalices for the fountain. Two chalices. Two, two silver from the Ponce de Leon ship. Uh, oh, Ponce de Leon. Sure, I actually no heard of that one. Oh, how? Oh, how? And or emotional twist. This film's going to be full of surprises. Once again, though, Keith does get one solid line. Have you been there? One solid. Does his face look like it's been to the fountain of youth? <laughs> right, that's not bad. Now get over here! <laughs> that's fair. Looks like someone is impersonating Jack, saying he needs a crew to find the fountain. And it turns out it's... <laughs> no, no, it's too uh, stupid. Who is it? it is. It's his girlfriend, Angelica. Played by what? Penelope Cruz, dressing like Jack, and somehow fooling all these people. Uh, what? You were the only pirate I thought I would pass for. Jesus, how could you believe someone with eyeliner, long hair, and does everything with their palms up is a woman? Uh, you know what? Maybe they did that joke, I let it slide, but they didn't, so I'm not. This is they stupid. Did it. I was ready to take my vows. What were you doing in what? this place? She looks anyway? Mistook her for a brothel on this mistake. The word oh. honorary does cause confusion in Elizabethan slang. Oh, is it? Oh, Every wait, what? Corner, people were trapped doors in movies like what? this. Why are they not Why shooting? The what do you know? She reveals she is looking for the fountain as well. That's but he's a lot of water. She can say more. Meanwhile, Gibbs is about to be hanged by Barbosa if he doesn't hand over the map. You must Barbosa. Lie in bed the way you made it. What's happened to you? You used to be so nice. <laughs> he's just shot a man. He burns the map and says he committed it to memory, so he has to let him live. All That's smart. In here. Oh. Well, that is very clever. I refuse to believe anyone could remember the complicated insanity of a pirate sequel's plot points. <laughs> Black screen. That, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Show a leg, sailor. Jack wakes up aboard Angelica's ship with a crew that's half zombie, half idiot. What do you mean, half zombie? Pretty much how you'll feel after watching most of this. Okay. Zombie fight. Blackbeard's doing. Yep, this film loves its tell don't show as they reveal they have a captured mercenary. The ship is captained by Blackbeard, and Jelka may or may not be his daughter. Blackbeard? And nobody sees the captain, so they don't know if he's really there. I'll be right on it to Wait, welcome you. Wait, can't see the captain? He's been zombie fight. Make some more compliant. Maybe to his own daughter, who loves her dear papa with all her soul. He got captured and right. Rest of the ship got killed. There's a prophecy. Ooh. Blackbeard will Does she have a hook? Within a First mate, sticking her neck for some prisoner. I just love an audiobook of the movie you're watching, don't you? <laughs> an audio I feel I could maybe get behind this if the humor was good, but while it's not got awful, it's not funny either. The only ones who occasionally get a giggle is the dopey crew. I think they picked really good actors oh, to make these dumb, lines a lot funnier. The dumb than guys. They are. You have been monstrously deceived. We are deceptive then. Yes. But bizarrely enough, one of the oddest mistakes seems to be in the casting. As Jack convinces the crew to mutiny, figuring Blackbeard isn't there, but then he reveals himself, played by Ian McShane. That's it. Ian McShane seems born to play Blackbeard. The appearance, the voice, yeah, I mean, he's just great. look at him. This should be right. But that's strangely, a dude, that's like the continental and John Wick. Show the worth of your prayers. Pray he be delivered from yeah. evil. I think it's his inflections. Every line sounds like a rehearsal tape. Has he ever Don't had the that first mate? Like a bad Mutiny performance. Department. Again. Mutiny. Fine. Like yeah. Yeah, I don't Matt mess with Blackbeard right now. But when the camera rolls, it's gonna be full Deadwood. You know what I mean? I but don't for know what that reason, is. He never gets there. Does he let his beard on fire? Fate, I feel down my nape, but I'll have one last fight. He's off in a way that's not fun. It's just off. I can't even say he's really bad because bad would be something. He's just <laughs> there. A fitting last well, sight maybe. for a doomed soul. We need him. If I don't kill a man every now and then, they forget who I am. <laughs> I forget hmm? who I am. What? I don't know. Compared to the passion of Barbosa or Davy Jones, weird or over-the-top performances, that can be corny and odd, but also intimidating and memorable. This guy controls the ship with his sword, fires 
fire. Fire. On his Wait. Shrink ships what? down into bottles and even makes do voodoo dolls to control people. Yet his voice is like instant ADD. I am struggling to pay attention whenever he talks. The quartermaster sees things before they happen. He has foreseen <laughs> nice. my death, and so the fates have spoken. I don't want to be too mean sure because Blackbeard I think he's a cool actor, and sure these on, guys are like, a lot more over North the top, Carolina coast. I think there's a difference between a subtle performance and a oh, I apologize, I forgot you were there. Your crew sees you for the miscreant you are. But I guess he is leaving more of an impact than bargain bin Will Turner. Yeah, uh, the missionary is oh, basically the Will a... Turner role just toned down. Which, if you remember how bland that role was, uh, means he's basically non-existent. Yeah, um, why trying. is he even there? Why a mercenary? Trying. There's just no life to this. No sense of passion. That is, unless the camera's on Barbosa. Say what Rob of your staunch heart gives or forever leave it to the wider fields of fancy. He really is the peanut butter cup in the trick-or-treat bag full of good and plenty. <laughs> Ne Mermaids. Never had a good and plenty. Waters, Doesn't sound good and plenty. But don't worry, none of them are black, so you can save your selective outrage. Wait, are they all jumping up? That's a smart guy. Yeah. To hell with hot women killing me. I'm gonna drown myself instead. Oh, that's why. So yeah, instead of. Futurama? I haven't seen Futurama. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're going near sirens, I guess. That, that's the mermaids, right? Yeah, kind of. I think. I don't know. Either. I'm here to talk to you about something exciting. As exciting as dinosaurs? No. No, oh, okay. Even more exciting. Than dinosaurs? Kudos. What if is you kudos? Shop online, you probably use an app to find the best coupons. And now, uh. you should also use kudos to get the most cash back. Now, that's not as exciting as zombies, but what? it could be. Was that 5% cash back? But it is. That's so really good. Wrong. Kudos is a free shopping extension that not only that helps you nice pick cards. the best card to use at checkout, but also doubles your reward. Some of those Amex cards are nice. 15,000 sites. That like means tier, if you usually get 3% back They're probably tier 3. Maybe, cards, I don't think it, any of them are tier 4. Com, or even MeUndies, you'll not earn Me 6% with kudos. That's basically free money. Now I know it's not as exciting. Even for socks, I'm pretty sure every single pair of socks I have I think has holes the thing in them. I said, so it's exactly that. The best thing about Kudos is that it's so easy to use. Add Kudos to Chrome or your iPhone in just is a few clicks. Is this supposed to be like the new Shop Honey? Like normal, and Kudos will automatically appear at checkout to handle the rest. I feel like I Honey kind of beat me everybody. I the other day because I'm a sexy beast. And Kudos not only helped me get the most rewards, but also reminded <sighs> me about other hidden card benefits like purchase protection. It's amazing. God. As amazing as a rainbow filled with spaceships. How yes. dare you? It's okay. Kudos will take you back. This really is a no-brainer. In fact, kudos what? has saved the average user over seven hundred fifty dollars per Maybe year. Maybe cash back. Imagine it's crazy. Imagine how much of my merchandise you can get for that. Like I, That's I use cool. my cash back as credit cool card. As a cool thing with another cool thing. Uh, how is no. that a cool thing? So don't wait. Use the code Nostalgia to double your rewards and get kudos for free by going to joinkudos.com. I, I imagine nostalgia. it's already That's free. Joinkudos.com/nostalgia, so they know we sent you. Earn more whenever you shop by doubling your rewards with kudos today. That is it literally so double? Sad. I just want to sit what is this business model? And something and change my shirt. Hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. Happy birthday, Doug. Oh, is it my birthday, Doug? No, it isn't, Doug. Oh, sorry, Doug. It's okay, Doug. You still get a present, Doug. Oh, is this, you, this is the old welcome, bespoke Doug. post. It's from me, Doug. It's from you, Doug. Why, thank you, Doug. Because it's good if to it, get you something. I might skip you know, it because awesome I might have already, already seen it in a different awesome one. Awesome from bespoke poster. It's going to be a shirt. So we're just going to go ahead and unbox this thing right now. Yeah, it's going to be the shirt. It, it's, it's hilarious. I'll tell you what we got. I'll tell you what we got. Okay, fast forward a bit. There we go. Bespoke post. Doug. 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 Okay, enough of that. It's uh, a Peak CPO jacket from Line of Trade. Why, that's a great company. They specialize in goods that were designed fair. to withstand the rigors of day-to-day -day life. And they're already sold out in some sizes. I'm not going to make you sit through that because chances are you've already seen it. Uh, uh, but awesome. there's the thing Code if you want to go to Bespoke Post your first box. and get 20% awesome. off your first box. Code nostalgia. This was a good day, Doug. Thank you, Doug. Farewell forever. Yeah. Forever. The sponsorship is done. I won't miss you. Goodbye. Good lord. That's it's silly. An hour back. Is he gonna wait? He didn't talk about the live stream, did he? He didn't talk about the Arkham Asylum. Negotiate with Angelica Arkham via Tom, right? Which sounds fun, but is somehow even more boring than the regular exposition. Where we shall bathe one another in equal shares of fame. And I'll tell you the ritual of the fountain. Maybe because the dancing is more waddling in place. Yeah. Also, nobody seems to act on their emotions towards each other. Like, I don't believe for a second these two are in love. They just say they are. <laughs> You're supposed to believe them. I tried to kill you in Saint Dominique. I don't know. That's flirting. Angelica right? says she legit wants a connection with her father, but you don't feel that between these two. 
You barely even see them together. I want a father, Jack. I haven't had one. Everything is described, not felt. It's like the difference between watching a porno and hearing an instructional guide on sex. Speaking of which. I heard that said a kiss <laughs> wow, that's, a, that's an, an analogy. Vagina. Don't be a fool. Mermaids are all female, son. They're kind of like reverse Smurfs in that way. Oh, they're all Smurfs, guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, save me. Goodbye, so heathen. are one of the few things I legit remember from this. I've... I feel like killer versions of this creature have been done before. Oh, so they attack they them? they weren't really popular then, and you definitely didn't see them from Disney. So they are pretty cool. Also, I kind of love and how they... they jump like flying fish from Super Mario Brothers. Uh, I'm pretty sure a fish actually do that. Yeah, no. He finds only one with big puppy dog eyes and stats her. And let's her go? For God. And they bring her with because they need a mermaid tear for the fountain to A mermaid tear? How do you make a mermaid Jack cry? Away, oh, show the not movie. not entirely sure of his starting point. Was that really necessary? Best you not know the exact whereabouts of my ship, I'd be a cautious man. Doesn't look like you took him that far. I think Kid Spun and hitting a pinata would be more lost. Yeah. She cannot breathe. He has water. She needs air. The missionary starts to form a bond with the mermaid as he's Oh my the god. She's her gonna she has trouble breathing. Ah, doorstop. I hear Fox News uses their Bibles for that, too. Yeah, no. There's a confusing scene, yeah, imagine in these movies, where oh. someone needs to jump off a cliff while everyone else oh. goes another way. Why? Joka offers, but Blackbeard stops her. Again, nothing is shot like there's supposed to be any emotion behind it. I go. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no. How much farther to the fountain? Why was that even in the movie? I don't... <laughs> don't <laughs> what, <you're laughs> explaining what should be really simple? That we got covered. For example, Blackbeard could tell Jack jump or I'll shoot her, but instead, the, you see if you follow that this. Pistol. Give me six more pistols, remove the shot from all but two, but do not tell me which. You get to choose, Mr. Sparrow. Hmm? What? Can these movies do Wait, anything do simple? Pick? If somebody wanted to wear a hat, they'd be like, Well, take the hat, turn it upside down, cut five holes in it, shit in it for three hours, and never recite a voodoo curse. That's part one. <laughs> part one. It's a multi-part thing. He's going after the ship that has two chests. Oh, there was way too many rocks the around there. Gender swap a shape of water continues as the missionary helps the mermaid after her case breaks. Oh, that's oh, not going to be fun. She turns human when she's on land. Oh. oh my beer. And yeah, you know you've been doing these movies too long when you start reciting plot exposition on your own. Santiago. I, I, I do that in movies. Oh, there's no one there. Oh. This is look at the camera. Is that a fourth wall break? Well, as Barbosa and they discover the Spanish are searching for a two and have taken the chalices. No, no. Oh no, it's Spanish. Ah, <laughs> uh, getting into bed with this corpse of a franchise. He teams up with Barbosa's crew, including Gibbs, to try hey, and get the I chalices guess. back. And while doing so, he reveals his plight. What's your play, Jack? There is a damsel. You're rescuing a damsel. Uh, if there's a damsel in this series that always needs to be rescued, it's Jack, Jack, it's you. Yeah, literally. I How many times has he been captured? Briefly, mind you. Feelings. All right, feelings, damn you. <laughs> oh, yeah. These two have a ton of chemistry. Oh, yeah. The way they explain plot and... I don't know. Okay, That's it. Anything else Talk they about do. her daddy issues. That must be them right there. That you don't they believe. They find the chalices and manage to sneakily get them away. Really? The most important thing? Bro's just straight up drinking out of the chalices for the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> <laughs> I too keep they myself entertained like that. Barbosa's leg has another use. What? It's official. He is the best character in all the movies. Probably. He also reveals that it was Blackbeard who took the pearl and shrunk it down into a bottle, and he wants to get revenge by killing him. That give me left arm for chance of Blackbeard. Me left leg too. I could use some Jack Daniels in that one. <laughs> Jack slips God. free and they take down the guards with rope, rope, rope. Continue rope. They have guns. Why are they Why using melee weapons? Why are so bad at fighting a rope? Do they need defense <laughs> against lasso training or something? Cut it. Jack regroups with Blackbeard to reach their destination, and while the entrance is uh... a cool, the fountain itself is pretty damn boring. Ah, that's pretty cool. That actually looks sick. This is like the Amazon version of a public school fountain. Does it taste like lead paint as well? Did you buy those on Amazon? Barbosa and the Spanish also show Pretty up, sure but before can. they fight, Jack has a plan to let Barbosa and Blackbeard duke it out. Let them fight each other. Or we lay back, watch, have a drink, play some wages. Oh, well. Did you, Jack's idea, did you stay Catholic? give the audience what they want now? The missionary gets stabbed, so the mermaid takes him to... 
they never say it, honestly. I don't think anyone's ever cared enough to ask. But Blackbeard does she... gets stabbed by a poison sword with clumsy as Angelica stabbing her hand, too. All right, thanks. Uh, what, so simply, poison? one chalice gives you life, the other takes it away. The one with the mermaid's tear gives you life, but if you don't drink it at the same time, you turn into a pumpkin and the monkey becomes gremlins and... Oh, screw it. You know it's so Jack trick Blackbeard into betraying his daughter and picking the wrong one. My God. Oh, God. So Fetch naturally. me their souls. Oh, no. A soul for a soul, I guess. Is this the first soul for a soul? Poorly. I've seen that movie, okay? So with the woman I've seen that one. He had feelings for like no other? That was a terrifying scene, actually. One pistol. Get in the face down from shot. Kirby. Did she hit him? Love. Hit her in the head with that? Barbosa takes that her. Chip Jack gives honestly an okay speech about why he didn't drink from the fountain. Better to not know which moment may be your last. Every morsel of your entire being alive to the infinite mystery of it all. Yeah, also just she immortal? this immortal math on how to drink from it would probably kill you anyway. And we end on the most underwhelming note any of these Did movies they grow have the ever ship back? ended on. It's a pirate's life for me. Savvy. Really? That's oh, a pirate's life for me? That ended more like a Seth Rogen comedy than a pirate's film. Eh, whatever. We didn't film it like it was the last one, so it won't be the last one. Dead Men Tell No Tells was that the last one? But the Jack, fifth one? Because that voodoo doll that barely did anything in this makes an now appearance do something. in the end credits. Oh, what crazy possibilities are in store for? We never see it again. Why do you keep pretending these are planned out? Wait. They put that Pirates scene in the there? Caribbean. One is it a red herring? Line. On Stranger Tides. Honestly? It's a line? I think it could have been a lot stranger. I guess I can't say it's an awful movie because, in many respects, it doesn't try hard enough to be awful. I didn't like it World's End, but for all its faults, it did take risks. There was Oh, Adam World's End was so much better than this. This just leaves you with so little, especially in the memorable moments department. Nobody has I mean, it does have Ian McShall, whatever his name is. I love him. It just feels like a pirate sequel that exists just to be another pirate sequel. I wasn't what happened to the mercenary? Watching it or anything, but is it better to get through a memorable disaster or stare blankly at nothing? I guess you can make the call That's on that. As Pirates Month is almost complete with one more film. It's a fifth Come one. Come me, Hardies. It's a pirate. And if you for... if you next Monday, yeah, Paige is good there early. I'm a nostalgia critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. Okay. I never saw it, so I couldn't remember it. Be rewarded with the high station you so desire. Okay. Ah. Oh, we just had a little repeat we're there. We're still doing cameos for charity, and this, this month is, we're doing I think the it's, it's either the 90th or the 91st in the Savage Creator video. I'm going to get one for the 100. I'm going to list a whole bunch of stuff based off your comments of things that's going to make him lose his mind and things I've never seen. I think I'm actually going to react to the cameo this time. Uh, last time I did not react to it. Services, education, but, and yeah. It's an amazing it's gonna organization, and you can help them out. If you want a His brain's easy, gonna melt. Happy birthday, good luck, or whatever. Click on the link below. That'll be for the hundredth, hundredth and thousandth video. Like, nah, which, man, I want you know, from you, you suck. Well, because like, checking out this organization. Lot. It's probably gonna happen. It really is a great place with great people. May? Yeah. Take a look It'll at probably the various happen. ways no. you can help out. It might be the end of May, beginning of June. I'm not really sure how months line up. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Wait, why do we have ten seconds? Okay, well. A very interesting movie. I learned about one that I did not have. Also, uh, Will of Mutt final season starts with Trevor Lawrence on the cover. Love that as a Jacksonville Jaguar fan. Um, <laughs> on Stranger Tides, I don't know. Like, I guess Barbosa is like the main character. I didn't know Johnny Depp was in this. I thought that Johnny Depp was only in the third ones because I don't remember ever seeing a single preview or trailer for this movie. When did this movie come out, actually? Uh... On, on Stranger Tides. I'm just going to search on Stranger Tides. Wow, it autofills. I hate that. 2011. Uh, okay, so I was in high school. 33% on Rotten Tomatoes, 45% on Metacritic, 6.6 .6 out of 10 on IMDb. May 7th, 2011. Budget was $410 million. Box office won a billion. This movie made a billion dollars? Okay, well... Uh, I'm going to start making mediocre movies. Uh, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be playing, um, I'm going to be streaming today at 5 p.m. playing some, what is it, totally accurate Battlegrounds for the very first time ever. So come in there, become a French stream sniper, and just spam we at me the entire time. It's going to be hilarious. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Hopefully I made it a little better. But until the next video, take care and keep the music. What?